Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday. So um, today we are going to create some of these little, um, this is a belly band and it's going to be a slow stitch project for myself. And I thought I'd like to make several of them and just sew on them as I get the chance. And then I'll have them ready ahead of time for some journals. So that's that's my plan. Let's say hi and hugs and then we'll get started. Hi and hugs to Jamie, Jolanda, or Jolanda probably, Simply Sherry, and Inked Pulp. So um, thank you so much for watching and for your nice comments. Okay, so I have this one all prepared, all ready to go. So this is, is what I have. And this fabric, the base of it is eight and a half, so it will go on a page. And then it just happens to be just a little under three and a half. I just had some, um, some fabric that size, so use that for the base. And then this little button is going to go right there. So there you have it. It's kind of like fabric collage, really, is all it is. And so I have a bunch of, well, I have these that um, I showed in an Etsy share recently. They're vintage tablecloths um, that were cut up. And so I that's precisely why I bought those. But they technically are scraps. I have all these yummy scraps that I have purchased over time from Rachel at Roxy Creations. I have some lace in here. I have my little drawer of yo-yos. And then I have all my stitch and stuff. So we're just going to play today, which usually Scrappy Saturday is a play day, isn't it? So um, let's see. Get myself organized here. I need my fabric scissors for one thing, not my, not my other one scissors. So get that at the ready. And um, I just have this. I, actually, I think it's an old sheet that's been cut up. And so that's what I'm just using as my base. And like I say, it came at, yep, about three and a half ish. So I'm just going to give this a little clip at about eight and a half, maybe a tiny bit less. And that will be our base. So we'll just, we'll just build upon it. And, um, and then as we go, we'll pin and, um, then it'll be ready to just set aside and just, just do some stitching as, as we can. I haven't done any stitching videos because a person, I'm just learning. <laughs> so I, you know, it would sort of be the blind leading the blind, but I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I didn't think I would, but I do. I don't know what it is about it, but it's so fun. So, okay, let's look at my last little, this one, I used a few pieces from Rachel's pack here, and they are, they are great. Oh, this is, there's a lot of yummy, pretty, pretty things in here. Oh my gosh, so much. Okay, so, and then this one, look, I haven't even opened it. It's got a yo-yo in it. I love this piece. And this piece I used, I used some things out of here for my slow stitch cover that I did. I mean, look at how pretty that is. Oh, I don't know, and lace, oh my gosh, it's just, just pretty nice and oh look at that she she did that on a piece of fabric that's so cool that'd be kind of cool to have it as kind of the focal point on one wouldn't it so this collage not all that much different than um, not that much different than paper 
And so I just thought we'd play a little bit this afternoon and see. I am not cutting right up to the edge, but trying to get pretty close. And my cutting leaves a bit to be desired, but you know, that's what I love about this slow stitch is it's not perfect. And um, so it fits right in with my skill level. <laughs> uh, honestly, I think that's what discouraged me about scrapbooking. It seems like it was a lot more, at least the groups and classes and things that I went to, it seemed like it was a lot more precise. And I just, I don't know, just, it, it just wasn't, wasn't fitting in with me. So, um, it's just looking for a second. This one has all really thick fabrics except for a couple. Ooh, that might be cool on this one. I used some of this fabric and one of my tags, one of my Ann Brooks tags, which has been a great, a great learning thing for me. I've really, I've really enjoyed it. Um, just kind of seeing what else we've got here. Okay, so. This this goes really nice with it too. Okay, I think I'm gonna just cut that a little bit, a little bit closer to the image. Just straighten it up a tiny bit. that okay so far so good I feel like there was some things in here that might work oh look there's another one all ready to go <laughs> but yeah I just I just thought this would be good to have some things kind of at the ready just like I have my ephemera from my ephemera box and are ready to go too. It might go kind of over there. Like that. Okay, so we're gonna cut this here. And then it's like keep all the little scrappy bits for your next project. So um I want that right about there. And I'm going to keep the raw, the edges raw on these. They're just going to be, they're, um, they're little selves. Okay, I like that. It's going to go here. So I need a little piece of something for there. I don't want anything super bright, I don't think. Although I don't mind that. Um... I would like to keep this one a little more neutral though, I'm feeling. Could I actually take this and go down here? I could, yes I could. Now, we're gonna need something like up that side underneath. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Um, let's see, I want it under this and under this. And up 
up a little bit. Just creating more edges and things like that so that I can I can stitch on them. Okay, what else do we have here? Definitely not purple. Ooh, look at that. That's a fun piece. It's a little too bold though. I think it would it would take away. This is cool though. What if we do that one? Nope. It's about the right height, isn't it? Okay. Do that. <laughs> Just want a little something under there. Looking at looking at lace here. This is, it looks like the bottom of a slip. <laughs> See if I do that, well, and put that there. Yep. Okay, I gotta just get the slip part off of here. Okay. You there, and you up a little higher, just so we can see that edge. Okay, I'm really liking that. I feel like I need, just need a little something. Um, what? I don't know. Uh, uh, uh. What if this now the next one we're going to do is going to be bright and happy, but I do love this. Okay. Then maybe I do some buttons. Or something. I mean, got some great buttons here. that something like that and then what down here maybe a piece of maybe a bit of doily or something I don't want it to be round though. That's a bit too big, but that's kind of what I was thinking of. I think I like that. And then once the stitching gets onto it, you know, everything's stitched around, I think it'll come up. Yeah, I like that. Okay, one down, but now we need to get it all pinned. So, let us do that. Okay. 
okay and then I just have a spot in my this is just my little thing where I have embroidery thread I have one of the little spots is where I'm keeping this until I can sew it on there so I'll put the these little buttons in that same little spot and you know if I forget what they're for and you do something else well that's okay too okay let's do up here and then as I start as I start to get some stitching done I will pull these pins because I tend to stab myself constantly um, pin you on and I want to pin down this side okay put one up here too there's a little pin laying on my desk I better get it out of the way before it gets me too be one down here as well okay so we're all pinned nothing's gonna fall off and we're ready to stitch so I'm gonna just stack that under this one and we're gonna keep going because I think this is just gonna be so much fun to have these ready and like this last weekend I other than my Ann Brooks I didn't do any stitching because I didn't have any I, I had this one I did have this one, but I kind of wanted to show you guys. So I didn't have anything at the ready to just stitch on. And I kind of like having it just ready to go. Okay, so let's, I, I just am dying, 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 dying to use these. Okay, that is not one of them. Okay, um, some bits of one of these. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty they are. And look at the opportunity to like stitch around these flowers and stuff. Even though I don't know a stitch to stitch around the flowers. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm a novice at this, guys. But it, it is fun and I... I am enjoying it. And what a great use for your fabric scraps, you know? I mean, look at how pretty that is. Okay, I think I need to stitch right, or I mean, cut right up here. there with that and then here with this one kind of going with my threes you know I have no idea what to do this is pretty and this kind of goes with this Let's see We'll go here, like that, pull that up there, and actually put this under here, like that. Okay, now I have this little piece, but I don't know. We keep that one at the ready. Let's see what else we have. We have this pretty one. Hmm. I don't 
Now I'm gonna look. I brought over some of my um, charm pack things because I thought they could be good. They're kind of like scraps, not really, but kinda. I kind of like how how wacky that looks. I want to just cut a, a bit here. Did that. Just gonna cut off a little bit, just a tiny, tiny skosh. I can't, can't stand covering up that red. Okay. Wish this was longer. I hope I'm not talking too quietly as I ponder these things. I mean, that would fit on there somewhere. That's what I should have brought over as little pieces of embroidery. Okay, talk amongst yourselves. Okay, well, that was fruitless because I can't find them quickly. Um, let's look in here to see if there's something. Hmm, kind of like that. Go right along that edge. At some point I'm going to need some sort of focal point for this. Okay. I have a rather large yo-yo that could go there. I'd kind of like Something across there. So I have my little little bit box here. So she's I'm thinking if I put a button in that yo-yo, that would give it more personality. Um, about just a bit of that. I can maybe, I'm having a moment of wanting to hoard this lace. <laughs> See, it's almost like a label. <laughs> and I think this, if we um, stitch around 
these flowers. That will give that a lot of personality. So I think that one might, might be there. Yeah, okay, let's pin. She says, and then she picks up another little bit. I think I like that little bit right there. Kind of ties that in a bit. Okay. This is so fun. Can't wait to stitch them. And we may do, I mean, I don't know how long this video has gone, but Just pinning our, pinning our way up here. And we need to find a button that enhances this little yo-yo. Kind of like the fabric snippets that we've done in the past, um, except that the whole thing gets sewn together by hand. Maybe one right there too. I'm running low on pins, but I have some in my drawer right handy. Okay, so let's see what do we have a button. Let me grab my button bin if I can. Oh gosh, without spilling it. Be good to do it without spilling it. Ooh, that's cute. It's like a it's a rose. We're doing that something. I think I like that. It ties it in. Let's see. That one or that one. Oh, they just each have a different feel to them. I don't know. Go I was going for bright with this, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna do that one. Okay, so now put this in my sewing thing and we'll put this in the stack. Oh, that's very fun. Okay, how are we doing time-wise? Okay, we're just at a half an hour, so we're doing great. We're going to get a few done. And then as I get these sewn, I will of course show them to you because likely they'll be in my after the weekend show and tell videos <laughs> that have kind of become a habit. Okay. Okay, maybe we can go for a whole different color scheme. Of what? I don't know. Um, okay, let's see. What do we have here? Let's look at something, something to inspire us. Some blue would be fun. Blue, blue. This one's super light. Maybe like a super light, shabby chic looking one, kind of. Hmm. 
Hmm. Kind of stinking. I may just go right up the gut here. <laughs> so these um these came from flea market floozy on Etsy and I know after I showed the video that I had gotten them they sold out but you know she might get some more in at some point okay I think I'm going to run that down the middle oh that's such a lovely fabric too and then do what I don't know with the with it but I definitely want it to be like shabby chicy. This little piece, I was wondering. Oh, that's just about right. I'm going to cut that about here. And put that down the side hanging hanging over a little bit okay and then let's put this on top of it I think or do I want it just on the side of it I'm struggling with this. So I'm just going to cut this one out. And put it, I don't know where yet. Put that there if I can get it positioned properly. Cut it. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to need to put something right over that. I don't know if that's the piece, but. Okay, um, mm -hmm. this could be interesting. Yeah, and then, and then what? Though so I get to the then what part, a lot of these are super bright. Some of them just want to have it be more subtle. So let's go to. I mean, I don't mind this except we had it in our last one, and I want to be. I want to be different. Let's see what else is in this charm. Oh, look at this. Isn't that pretty? Let me see if I can tell you. Moda Finnegan is what it's called by Brenda Riddle Designs. Okay, I am going to give that a cut. Maybe go you, you, put that under that. Hmm.
it's okay. Okay, that's okay. Then something little over here. That's pretty there. I don't know. <laughs> see what else here. Kind of feeling like I'd like a pink, a soft, soft pink. No, kind of gotta love a little gingham. Could do some fun stitching with that gingham, couldn't you? Okay. Maybe about here. Right about there. And I feel like I want something right there. Like a little piece of this, maybe. Maybe. Gosh, get rid of some of the threads. That's kind of fun. I feel like we should have something down there, but not that. Hmm. Maybe like that. Let's see here. Get the strings off of it. Okay. So far I'm liking it. I just don't totally know. Where go. I was trying to leave those flowers, but I'm struggling with leaving them so they might not get left is <laughs> what I'm saying. Ooh, I like that there. Okay. Quit trying to save the flowers, Gail. But then we need some sort of like focal point. Ooh, like that is pretty. I've been hoarding these little things. Let's 
How do you feel about that? I think it's one of those things too, once you start stitching, if you think, oh gosh, it needs something, like you could put a button or whatever. But I think the stitching may just pull it together too. Okay, I think I'm gonna pin that. All right, all my little bits. <laughs> oh my gosh, we'll have four of these done. That's so exciting. I hope this hasn't been boring for you guys. I guess if it has been, you'll just turn it off, right? <laughs> that'll, that'll take care of it. <laughs> I got to figure out the uh, um, sewing around things to attach them. I do have a book. That I've kind of been reading one of those ones that CT publishing puts out um, I'll show you it's called creative stitches for contemporary embroidery and what I like about it is right at the beginning it has all the stitches and then you go back in the book and it you know tells you how to how to do them, you know, with more, um, more directions. But yeah, we've, we've done quite a few actually from here in the, um, in the challenge. The French knot and those things, the fly stitch. I haven't done the chain stitch. I would like to know how to do that. Hmm. It kind of confuses me. But, like, the chain stitch, like, you go to page 85, and see it tells you specifically and it also gives you right and left hand which is nice oh hmm. okay so anyways this book has been helpful to me okay oops I'm running into my scissors there we go okay so let's continue getting this on here I love the soft colors of this one though. Do love that. And see one here. Some of my pins aren't as sharp as they probably sh ouch, should be, except for that one. <laughs> That one was good. <laughs> oh, karma gets me every time. Oh my goodness. Okay. So then we'll go a little bit. Oh, that's a bent pin. That one's seen better days. my pins here of course I did get all my pins at an estate sale <laughs> so there's that but you know gosh I'm excited for estate sales to start up I mean that sounds awful doesn't it I don't want anybody to have to die to have one though <laughs> More so, let's do living estate sales. Have you ever been to one of those? I've been to several of those where, you know, people were moving um, sometimes into assisted living or something. And so they just were getting rid of a lot of their stuff. Okay, I think that's on there pretty good. 
so there's that one. Look at us. Are we good? I love them. I hope you guys do too. Oh, those are just so much fun. I really like the darker one too. Um, I should make one. I wonder if I could probably grab my Tim Holtz scraps really quick. Talk amongst yourself. Now that was fast. So let's, um, I'm just going to get these pastel ones picked up here and over here. Let's make one with Timmy fabrics. Okay. And okay. Ugh. Okay. All right. Let's let's start again. So this time with Timmy. See what we have. I don't even know. Okay, and I did grab I have this little charm pack of Tim Holtz too in case it might be handy for something. Probably some fabrics in there that I don't have in my in my scraps. I have a lot of Tim scraps though. Um well, look at this one. It's practically like a a belly band as is, isn't it? Let's use that for the backing. And then we can let pieces of it kind of show through. So, because you don't really have to have, you know, a plain muslin or something for the background. You could use whatever. So, let's use this. Okay. Oh, that's fun. There's a fun one. A little tickets. I'm going to go. That ticket's upside down then. This side's just not super straight, but that's okay. Maybe we'll put something over it. See what I mean? Kind of veers off. <clears throat> Uh, we could put some sort of strip down the side or something right there. Gosh, just all sorts of little strips. I think what I'm going to do is just Off a bit of that. And I'm going to cut this right here. Maybe. See, so, you know, I'll just put that there, and that'll cover up the goofiness with our tickets. Okay, so I have this map one too, which could be kind of cool. Just gonna put that there. I might end up covering up this whole thing, and if I, but like I could put that there and I wouldn't have to cover up that or that, you know what I mean? Okay. Do I want some of that across the bottom? I think I do. 
Yeah, I do. One of our grandkids used to say that. Yeah, I do. They love their little talk <laughs> that they used to do when they were babies. Miss, miss the babies. Of course, Bucky's still kind of a baby, and he's going to have a new baby, but who knows when we'll get to see them. Okay. Something over there. Look at this fun piece. That's really fun on its own, isn't it? How big is that? Yeah, that needs to be a um, fabric flip. That's what that needs to be. Yeah, that definitely needs to be a fabric flip. Could be all by itself. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so then what else do we have here? Ooh, we've got these numbers and things. Um, I think I'm going to cut this at this line. And then at here. And then here. I'm just going to stick that on. really like that ticket, though. really like that ticket. I guess I could cut this off. Stick that there. Okay, I like that there. And then maybe something up in this corner and then maybe that's all we need. It's hard because you don't really know until you try it. And so then you end up you end up cutting it like that. How's that, do you think? I, my brain was going to the Tim Holtz people and how could you sew them on? Or Tim Holtz ephemera, like say this is your ephemera. Could you punch like the tiny crocodile hole all the way along it and sew through it to sew it on? That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? How much time do we have? Not that much, but I kind of want to see. Um, because, because we need a focal-ish point. I'd kind of like to see if that works. Um, I don't know. Oops. Covers up that that ticket that I liked, but hmm. way but then I wouldn't have anything to stitch it on to okay maybe that's not the one okay. I always get questions about this so I will tell you I got it at Hobby Lobby in the um, in the scrapbooking organizational area
Okay, so then my thought is, and this would be easy to follow too, um, my thought was about grabbing the, let's see, yes, the crocodile. I was having a moment of questioning myself. Okay, and the one in, or one eighth inch hole rather than 316. Okay, so I'm going to go right at the 12 and punch a hole. And then at the 5, and then right in the middle of the 2, like that. And do that all the way around. And then you could sew, sew through that hole, do like a blanket stitch, and put that on. That's my thought. So, um, yeah, so then I would go two, three, four, and go back and do in between here in a minute. Keep getting my finger in there. Doesn't have to be perfect, but and then we'll go in in between them, which I don't have to do at this very moment. Let's get this. Let's get this pinned down, except for. Do I have this guy? Stick him over there. Um, let's get it pinned down, except for the clock. I think this could be really cool. We'll see if it works. <laughs> Total experiment. Oh, but but fun to try, kinda. I think I might ask my husband to take me for a ride this afternoon. I need to get out of the house. How's that for a random thought while I'm pinning? Sun shining. It's beautiful out. I never know where to go. But... Just to have a moment out of the house would be good, I think. And tomorrow's my husband's shot day. I'm so excited. I probably have said that in every video I filmed today, but today had to be a big day because I had, we have stuff this week with our um, construction guy and stuff like that and Mike's shot won't I won't go with him he's just going to the hospital for it so it's just down the road a piece okay so then that is all there so then we're just gonna go in between each The trick is not getting too, too close to the edge, I feel like. And, I mean, this is not a piece that's ever going to get washed or anything like that. So why not put some paper on it? Oops, that one was a little off kilter. That's okay. Okay, so let us see. Gosh, I can't get my... It's not wanting to go in. There we go. I had one of the pieces in the way. Okay, so then that will go right there. I think I'll just I'll put this big pin... And just pin it on there so I don't lose it. Okay, there we go. So that's going to be that one. 
don't have any lace on it but that's okay it's a little more industrial looking so there are our five you guys oh i have cleaning up to do to beat the band here oh gosh it's and then our time is up okay so i showed you that one this is this one this is this one this one and our tim holtz idea Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed Scrappy Saturday. It was a little bit different, but um, but super fun, and I'm excited to get stitching on these. So thanks, everybody, so much for watching and uh, crafting along with me, and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye-bye.